Alrighty. Get this, uh, get this shit rolling. I don't know a whole lot about this game, other than the fact that it is, uh, apparently extremely difficult. And it is an extremely depressing situation. Uh, it's apparently just a real mess overall to try to handle. Yeah. So I gotta make sure my sound works and everything. Yep. All right. Well, let's go ahead and start this then, shall we? So the leftmost mask is barely barely visible. Well, uh, there. Level difficulty. Uh, okay. Uh, well, you know what? Let's go with the middle one. Wait. You know what? You know what? This one says the intended, so let's go with that. I forgot to change my stream title. God damn it. Yo, dude, nice. There we go. Okay. Well, uh, our play begins in the middle of the middle of things. It might take time to figure out what is happening, but it will all start to come together soon. Will it though? Will it? Okay. My frame rate says it's being stable, but it seems really choppy. I don't know what's going on with that. Let me... Uh, graphics... Well, that needs to go up. Field of view that low is really bad. And my settings aren't even super high. Okay, depth of field off. Nobody likes depth of field. Huh. Well, uh, let's just put the level of quality down a little bit. And, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, hi -o. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Mm. Are you even trying now? So, Berka, your performance was a flop. <clears throat> You're unfit for the, for the role, a cursed production. This is our second attempt and a second failure. Hmm. First run was decent. That is not for you to judge. It's not our fault you put us in these inhuman conditions. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, it's like my frame rate is just fucking awful. Why? Really don't want to have to keep turning things down, but it keeps like fluctuating super hard. Uh, alright, so let's do, let's lower that, and, uh, let's go ahead and lower the shadow quality as well. Like, this game doesn't even look like it should be super, uh, demanding, but man, it's, it's not great. This is, oof. Um, God, yeah, this might not go on for very long today, because um, right now my frame rate counter is sitting at like 40. Now, if I look back here, I get 60. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, really borked right now. Um, well, let's just go ahead and turn that down to low. Uh, turn the shadows off, I guess. And let's try that. Uh, God, even with that, I'm still getting only about 50 frames. Ugh. Okay, well, let's... 
Okay, so we can highlight people. They don't trust me anymore. I wasn't even invited to the final council. Where are the birds? What the fuck does that even mean? Bitch. What a beautiful word. Bitch. I'm talking about my sister. Turns out the birds aren't birds at all. I want to know what they are. Lean down and I'll tell you. Lower, lower now. They're fingers. Did they tell you that? Yeah, this was a direct quote. We're not birds, we're fingers. That's why we... That's why people call them executors. Are you tired? Want me to relieve your headache? Uh... Sure, go ahead. You can't do it, can you? Bitch. You said you liked that word anyway. God, why does this game run so bad? Hey, bird. Want to receive your payment? Well, everyone will get paid what they're due in the cathedral. That's where the final choice will be made. By whom? The authorities. Fitting. Also, my, uh... Mouse sensitivity needs to go up. That shit's real low. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Although, I don't know if I really should have high sensitivity and all that shit when the game seems to be running poorly. Goodbye. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, this uh, may have to do like an impromptu emergencies game change because this this frame rate just does not stop fluctuating. Okay, so there's the cathedral. So now. God damn. Okay. Move along, doctor. Nothing to see here. Work as usual. Butcher's work. You're killing people, you bastards. I can't believe this is our military. Even invaders are more humane. Stop the circus now. You know better than anyone, there's no salvation from the sand pest. People go mad with pain. They're not responsible for their actions. We put them out of their misery to protect the healthy. Legal orders. You burn them alive. No, we burn infected miasmas. What miasmas? You know nothing of this disease. We have our instructions compiled by our own, by your own doctors. Mode of infection unknown. It's transmitted through the air, saliva, touch, and God knows what else. We've lost half our men already. You deserve it. Go, doctor. Stop lecturing us. If you were better at your job, we wouldn't have to go. We wouldn't have to be so good at ours. But there's still no cure. Do you think we enjoy shooting and burning civilians? Those people are healthy. Why have you seized them? I got people knocking on my door. Hold on.
apologies. Hopefully there will be no more interruptions. They're looters, like I said, it's work as usual. You do your job and we'll do ours. You should you should let them go. A couple less, a couple more, what does it matter? Eat my ass, homie. Okay. Wait, what? I know where you're going, want a piece of advice? Speak, but please be quick. It won't take long, the town is gone and to hell with it, but the kin are also gone. Your family is gone, your father remains unavenged, his path unfollowed. The seven children who entrusted their lives to you are dead, you are the only one left. Do you want to save yourself at least? No, and no with a paragraph. I'm gonna say no. Heed my advice. You think she loves you, you think she's a friend and he's a foe because he brought him, he brought in the cannons. Don't talk to her first, talk to him. Uh you know, she's my ally. You can eat my ass. Jeez fucking Christ. Alright, well, I think this frame rate is just too bad for me to actually play this, so I I think I'm gonna have to switch over to something else. Let me, uh... Get that... Get that changed. Hmm. What should I change to? It's gotta be something that I already have installed, because in my streaming room, my download speeds are not very good. Ah, that's an idea. Okay. Okay, so I think what I'll do is we'll play some Ravenous Devils. Uh, this is another game that I've had on my, uh... I've, I've had it for a while in my... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? My library, but I haven't actually played it yet. Okay. And today's stream has been a mess, huh? Let's uh let's hope it gets better, shall we? Get, get some stuff set up real quick. Switch the game capture over. Do do do. Skibbity bop bow. Motherfucker. And wa bam. There we are. 
Okay, so I don't really know a whole lot about this game. Uh, what I do know is that it's kind of a simulation game where you run a business. Uh, but said business is um, kind of cannibalistic in nature. I barely slept when we were on the train. My thoughts kept me awake with a burning fever to see our new home. My wife Hildred and I decided to move suddenly. She hurriedly packed our luggage, taking only what was strictly necessary. We cut a good deal buying this place near the river, which had previously been owned by a well-known barber in the town. This house is surprisingly large. There's enough space on the ground floor to turn it into a beautiful pub, while downstairs in the basement there's already a large cozy kitchen. I can't wait to get to know my new customers. I've always enjoyed watching people eating the meals I cooked for them lovingly. My husband, Percival, has cleaned the first floor and set his room up for business. A fancy tailor shop. Oh, it won't be long before we see the women from the local district showing off the beautiful outfits he has made for them. We are going to bring home the gold with our business. You may wonder what the secret behind our success is. Our loyal clients, obviously. Fantastic people. I feel kind of sorry about killing them. <laughs> We've decided to use an unusual ingredient in our specialties as a result of the insanely high meat prices. Due to sheer hunger, or simply because it tastes so delicious, human flesh is highly appreciated. We do not know the reason why, and we don't really care. Ah, uh, but don't worry. We don't waste anything. Even their clothes are cleverly reused by Percival. They just need a little patching up, and then they are ready for sale again. At full price, of course. <laughs> we are working so damn hard to do things right, and earn as much money as we can. Okay, so, like I was saying, you uh, you run a business, and it's got some cannibalism to it, and... <laughs> we're running out of meat fast. People in this town are like hungry dogs. At least this means that moving here was the right choice. We'll get rich. Not too fast, darling. We must keep it low profile and work hard. You know all too well how much we're risking. Yes, I know. You don't have to keep repeating that. Throw this corpse down into the kitchen and I'll take care of it. Okay. There's blood everywhere. So I'll throw the corpse into the trap door. Weep. Finally, fresh meat. Trap door is working brilliantly. It's time to stock up on some minced meat. New meat grinder is great for large for larger prey. Let's grab the corpse. And into the meat grinder you go, my good sir. Bones and all. <laughs> He gave us two meat. Just take a look at my grandma's recipe book. It's all, it's all, I'll also be able to add all my future recipes to it. All right. Well, I need flour and minced meat to make a delicious meat pie. I can already smell it cooking. Why didn't I grab the meat? It was already a, God, I'm an idiot, huh? All right, so let's get the ingredients going. So all set for cooking. Let's take the tray and put it in the oven. It's already hot. It'll be ready soon by making some changes. I could cook faster or we could fix the other two ovens, though we need more money for that. We'll work on that one later. Meat pies are looking golden brown. It's time to take them out. Wow, already? Oh, damn, that's a fast oven. Jesus Christ. Uh, display stand is empty, so I'll place these meat pies on there, and this way customers will be able to serve themselves. Well, let's fill it. <coughs> Alright, we're all set up. 
I wonder if my husband is ready too. He has to clean that mess on the floor. Yeah, I figured as much. It's a bloodbath. I have to clean this up. No one can come up here until there's no blood left on the floor. Let's get the mop and clean it up. Stole some clothes earlier. A display mannequin and exposition isn't dressed. Should patch up some of the stolen clothes and resell them at a steep price, of course. Waste not, want not. This may be a humble shop, but I am a professional. Back to business. Let's take a, let's take a stolen cloth from that pile. All right, now it's time to give this new sewing machine a whirl. It's not going fast, but it can wait. Coordination and cooperation are the core of our business. I should adjust the timing of my work according to Hildred's needs. Clothes are finally ready. Let's put them on the mannequin. Whee! This is a masterpiece. Everything seems to be set. Ready. Now we can welcome our new customers. Open up the shop. My dear customers, please come inside and uh, take what you desire. It's lucky that I filled the display stand, otherwise they'd have been waiting while I was cooking. Every meal has a different price. I cannot give it away for free, after all. I'll mark them differently from one another on, in the recipe book. They will pay a lot for my delicious meals. Damn, dog, we made 12 euro. <laughs> Seems like someone is looking for a new outfit. Never know if your work and style will be appreciated by people. Always keep in mind to do the best job you can. We don't want bad reviews getting out. I have an appointment pretty soon. I need to take client's measurements. Wait for the client to arrive. Are you the client? Hello, my darling. You know, it's kind of spooky when the, uh, the owner is just kind of standing there. <laughs> now we are alone. I can provide Hildred with some more meat. Fuck you, bitch. Take these clothes, you won't be needing them anymore. Let's throw the corpse down in the kitchen. Now, it's very nice of them to leave the underwear on. Yeah, yeah. More clients are coming, we must be ready. God damn it, I should have grabbed that first. As fast as I can. Well, you're not going fast enough. Moving there. There's blood everywhere. Piece of fabric to work with with a showing machine. Okay, well, if I can grab one, I told you to. Yeah, this game's hectic already. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll actually take her measurements. If that's a thing, I don't actually know if that is a legitimate thing to do. <laughs> I 
Alright, let's fucking kill that bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You have to wait for more pie. Pie is ready. Yo, real talk, her job is the hardest one by a long shot, like, bruh. <laughs> Shank a hoe. Starting over is never easy. There are a lot of improvements that need to be made. I wrote this list of things we can do to improve our business. This way, we'll serve as many customers as possible with fancier shops. Let's see what we can improve. Okay. Yeah, let's get the oven. Let's get the oven speed upgrade. And then let's get the sewing machine upgrade. Oh, we don't have enough for the sewing machine upgrade. Fuck. Okay. Um Greenhouse. Damn. Okay, so I don't really think we have enough for any more of the upgrades. So that that'll do it for now. Okay, well, let's let's go ahead and get our shit started up for the next day before we actually, uh, yeah, <laughs> don't want to start the day. With all this other shit on here already. It's like her job is so much harder than his job. Like he kills people and then that's then sends them down here. She has to pick the body up, throw it in the meat grinder, do the grinding, and then cook it in. Man. Her job is so much harder than his. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Right, let's get Another plate ready to go for cooking people. Okay. And then once that's done, I'll go put it on there and get another one started. <laughs> Optimize. All right, so we got pies set up. We got another one ready to cook. We've got that set. So, okay, I think we're good to open up for the day. <laughs> I could just make, uh, what is that, a hamburger? But honestly, that doesn't have anywhere near as much in terms of usefulness I'm assuming so um, I think I'm gonna avoid that one for now <laughs> I guess we could realistically go get this cooking what's up homie Hope you don't mind if I fucking stab your brain. <laughs> mm. 
You know, it's very nice of them to actually pay, considering no one's watching the register. <laughs> Clean that up. Alright, next up we need to go... Okay, now you go put that up there. Go get that started. And now that you've got that set up, get your ass down here and start making more meat. <laughs> ah, hello, my good sir. I really hope they only give you one person at a time or else things are going to get real sloppy and I don't think I can handle that. Like, is she going to come back here right now? Because that's a problem. No, she won't. Okay. Uh, can this overcook if it stays in there? Because that's going to be a problem, too. <laughs> I like this color. That is a nice color, yeah. Go buy some pie, my good sir. Right, now go replace that pie. I'll go faster then, you silly bitch. <laughs> so it seems like definitely the uh, the meat is where majority of our money comes from. All right. Um, which that's to be expected, I guess. Yeah, buy that shit, homie. Buy it. It's real nice. Mm. Oh, we're on our last clients. Don't want them to get mad. It's really warm. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let her go. Um, because, well, I already have a body in there, and I don't know if having a body is going to cause problems, because uh, this will get us to 9 out of 10. And, yeah. Better check today's earnings. I hope all our clients are satisfied with their work. This way, word will spread and our shop's reputation will improve. That alone is not enough, though. We should probably buy some new work tools. I'm sure even well-known people visit our shops then. Okay, so... Good, 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 good. <laughs> Spooky skeleton, Tom. Well, that's neat. Like, is this going to be purely cosmetic, or... I don't know. Okay, so... We've got $29. Don't really think there's anything that I can 
buy with $29. I could get that. Uh, but that's not really... I don't really need more meat. I'm already sitting at super high. There we go. Sewing machine upgrade. Alright, so that's full with that one started. Ah, yes. Let's go ahead and get another set of meat. Oh, nope, nope. Don't just throw it in there, you silly bitch. I want to get an upgrade for in here so I can have more shit stored. I'll probably save up for that next. Alright, so once that gets done, I think I will open up the shop and we can go from there. Uh-oh. Oh, a letter. We moved here not long ago. No one should know us. Who may have sent this? Did you tell anyone about our departure? Silence. Let me read. God. Someone knows our secret. What does it say? Nothing good? Just threats. Apparently the sender knows us really well. Hmm, we have an admirer. We can't leave again. We've spent everything we had on this building. I don't like the situation either, but I don't think we have means to trouble. Rather, he could be a rich client. He talks about a reward. I wouldn't trust... I wouldn't just trust that. We haven't much choice, so... What do we do? No, nothing. We just play his game. He'll get back to us. If that's written in this letter is true, we would risk our lives by leaving. He seems to be a powerful man in the city. Well then, let's hope we'll get some money out of this. Never a dull day for us. I'll get back to work. Me too. Okay. Okay, so the pie can actually just be sat there. Okay, well, let's open up. <laughs> you know, when I first started this, I was really concerned about the swapping between characters, but it seems like he's going to be these rooms and probably these rooms, and she's just these. Which, if that's the case, that's fine and understandable. I can do that. That's a good shirt, homie. That's a good shirt. You want you want that? Yeah, you do. This is a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, my good sir. That's a good shirt, lady. Oh no, you're coming back here. Okay, so um, that's a good shirt, lady. It'd be really nice once it's repurposed. There's blood everywhere. Oh, don't put the meat down. <laughs> now, does anyone... Oh, shit. No, 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 no. We do... We want the flower. D like, does anyone not think it's weird that he has a mop in the, uh, the room there? Because... Why would you need a mop to take people's measurements and shit? <laughs> don't make no sense to me, you know? Yo, she bought our shitties. Be right with you, my lady. Good. Can I get an upgrade that increases how much cloth I get because that seems to be my biggest problem right now is I'm so over I have so much meat from killing people 
Um, but I don't have a whole lot of cloth yet. I wonder how many bodies I can have stored up. It's not really a sentence you expect to hear on a regular basis, huh? Oh, it's a meatball. Okay. Time to try. What if there's a, a speed increase for the meat grinder here? Hold on, my good sir. The pie is cooking. Well, not quite, but it will be soon. As fast as I can. I really should have made more pie before I grinded the bodies up, huh? Luckily, it does seem to go up fast now with that upgrade. I'm coming, my good sir. Worry not. Did you eat? Okay. My esteemed Rhodes, I must admit your arrival in the city has got me excited. And please, I beg you not to interrupt these words as a threat, or interpret these words as a threat, but merely a great opportunity. I know what it is you're going on in your shop. I often wonder, how do you manage all those corpses? In any case, I decided to contact you and ask for a favor. Before I do that, I would like to assure you, your secret is safe with me. If you do what, you know, if you do what I am about to request... Uh, Secret save me if you do what I'm about to. Okay, I have been eating human flesh for a long time, and I'm sure you will find diff. I'm sure you will not find what I say as shocking as others might. Uh, you ca you cannot even imagine how difficult it's been for me to get my fill from now on. However, with you with you around, I trust things will be far easier for me. I will give you specific instructions for the prey that I would like to savor. After all, I will not just settle for the average Londoner. Once targets have been killed, you will prepare a delicious banquet for me. I will, it will be perfect. When your job is done, a life-changing reward will await you. I would like to suggest that you do not attempt to run away. I will be watching for every, watching your every move and will know where you are at all times. Moreover, I suppose the local police uh, would greatly appreciate a tip-off regarding the unexplained disappearances in town. I will send you the, your details uh, you know, the first target soon. Kind regards. Yo, homie, my ability to read right there was fucking terrible, huh? Yes, more displays. Oh, shit, she was already holding meat. Okay. Wait. Shite. Can I put it back? <laughs> now I just wait. Yeah, now I'll actually be able to go through the meat uh, at a faster rate. And therefore, I will hopefully be able to... Uh, Yeah. If 
if I can keep up with the meat production and how much I sell, I shouldn't have to worry about too much. I would also like another mannequin, but that's not really an issue considering I'm low on fabric enough as it is. I only have two slots left, and these give three each, so will I be able to put this up there, or is that not something I can do quite yet? Am I going to have to wait for someone to buy some? Okay. Now let's go and get another one started. I think we're good to open up for the day. It's a very well-oiled machine they have going on here. And I'm sorry I'm not talking a whole lot, but I'm not really sure what all to say. I mean, it's, it's a fun little game, but there's not really much to talk about. Well, go faster then, you silly bitch. Shit, I already had her pick it up. Don't come back here, you bitch.
So I'm, I'm noticing that uh, I'm not really gaining a whole lot of money for how expensive some of the upgrades are. Uh, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong, or... I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm sure once we unlock some more stuff, it'll be better. As fast as I can. Alright, good day, good day, good day. Dear Rose, Ella, Elliot Carson is your first target. He's a young, he is a young and greatly committed businessman. It is impossible to not be thrilled by the stories of his travels. He wanders around the city in his free time, talking to everyone, even those filth-covered country louts. He has no objection to frequenting the most infamous establishments, as he believes that there is always something new to learn, even in such places. In my opinion, he is a disgustingly virtuous man, anyway. All of this will work to our advantage and in fact should not be too difficult or too much of a challenge to lure him to your hovel. Sorry, no offense. I'm sure you will have plenty of time to spruce the place up. Mr. Carson is a very charismatic person and an eloquent speaker. I have had the pleasure of meeting him or of having him as my guest at some of my fa most famous parties. He is a good looking man. You will recognize him for sure. His eyes are like two blue magnetic spheres that simply drive me crazy and just the right size to eat in one bite. Kill him and preserve the body. I look forward to this immensely. It's a little messed up, my man. But, who am I to judge? I could get sausages now that I have the money for that. I could get a new mannequin, but I don't really need that. <gasps> this. Right there. Yes. 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 You know what, I actually forgot, I I actually have something I need to do today, so I think I'm gonna have to call the stream here. Uh, sorry about it being a shorter one, but I just remembered that I have to go somewhere. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and end it here for now. Uh, come follow me over on Twitter, at uh, DosBigHippo, with underscores in between each word, and on YouTube, uh, DosBigHippo, with spaces in between each word. Uh, I'll be back on Tuesday at around 12 p.m. Eastern, and I uh, hope to see you there. Bye for now, my good sirs.